Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to give some feedback, some issues that I have with the current iteration of Halo Infinite's infection game mode. This isn't really to, like, dump on 343 or anything like that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that are like, they, they changed infection just to make changes and all this other stuff, and while... A lot of people are like, we just want the old infection back in, you know, the, why are you changing stuff? I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, but it's just like, I also don't know how many people would be like super excited if, if, you know, I don't know. I feel like that's a hot take if I say, I don't know how many people are going to play infection if it's just the same old, same old, because then everybody's going to be like, I would definitely play it. And then who knows, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, we'll never know. Or maybe we will if 343 actually adds, like, a uh, legacy infection game mode. Anyways, that's, like, way kind of off topic for what I wanted to talk about. This is just feedback for the infection mode that's in Halo Infinite right now. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support that you all have shown the channel. You guys have been killing it lately. And I just want to say, if you enjoy Halo content, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you have to do is just sub to the channel. But let's get back into the video. So this iteration of Infection feels very, like, campy, very hide-and-seek to me. It's not so much this, like, chaotic, running around, trying to live game mode that I feel like I remember Infection being. This one feels more like, okay, a group of people are gonna, you know, squad up and just aim down sights and just absolutely destroy the zombies trying to run in. I think there's a few design choices that have been made that makes it feel that way. And with all the, you know, infinite power-ups pretty much on the map for the survivors like camo and whatnot, a lot of people that I've been watching just kind of abuse that system. And they're just like, hold up. I guess it's more, I guess that's kind of zombie. You know, you're, you're behind a wall and you're just sitting there praying that, you can take out all the infected Spartans as they come in, but it just doesn't feel the same to me. I don't know if that's because of, like, the equipment that zombies also have. You know, the alpha zombies have camo, and then the betas have the quantum translocator. And zombies are, I mean, they're super fast. And I feel like I don't have a problem with them being that fast. I, I don't know if I have a problem with the camo. It just feels like these things have completely changed how the game mode is played. I've seen a lot of people complain about alpha zombies having camo, and I don't really think it's that big of a problem. I mean, the amount of uh, little seeker darts that you have to show, I think is pretty... It's a good counter. I mean, I've seen people spend the entire game just alternating who is sending out the threat sensor darts, and, you know, just... Again, they're just holed up in a room and they know exactly when zombies are running through. I've seen people say that the infected are, the betas are also overpowered with the quantum translocator, uh, and that really just greatly depends on if you know how to use it, but I have not witnessed that at all. One of the things that I've heard prior to this, this game's infection mode is that infection has always been fun if you're the survivor, but as soon as you get infected, you know, people are like, oh, this, this stinks. And I feel like maybe they try to make being infected more fun and make people want to, like, keep playing even after they're infected. And that's where, like, that power fantasy of you being this super fast, overpowered zombie that's just, like, zip-zap-zooping around the map and stuff. So I do think that that was a design decision that they, they took into consideration when making the game mode. I also kind of wish you didn't start with a commando and you started with the sidekick. There's something like there there's a fantasy where you're just swapping back to your your pistol and taking out zombies. That just feels a little bit more different than using a commando. Another I don't know if it's an issue I have, but I am still on the fence with the 30 second timer as the last part in standing. I understand that it's supposed to like help have a winner. Um, but the, I don't know. I would have loved to just see how many kills I could get as the final Spartan standing. It, it just feels different. It makes the, the rounds go quicker. Um, it, it feels like it's a little bit more intense because you are you have a goal of just trying to survive for 30 seconds. But I don't know. I Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the 30-second timer at the end of the game for the last Spartan standing, if you like it and if you don't. 
I know we kind of talked about the power-ups and whatnot. I think that they're fun. I think that they add something to the game mode. I just don't think that they should be, like, infinite. I think having the ammo, um, crates, cash, whatever you want to call it, around the maps are cool. It kind of makes you, you feel like you're forced to go out to get stuff. There's weapon variants and other weapons spread out through the maps and stuff. And that's another thing. I like how the maps are different. I think they did a good job with uh, kind of giving it a different feel and opening it up. This is my, I don't know if this is a hot take either, but I would love to see, you know, like a big team battle infection going on. I just want, you know, big team battle, I just, you know, tons of people running around, maybe push the, how many people can play on those maps up. That would be nuts. I don't know if we'll ever see that, but just, that's a that's an idea. That being said, I, I do think that it's, like, it should not be easy to survive in Infection. I think that that's kind of the point. You, you need to be overwhelmed. And when you do win, or if you do survive, you know, it feels like an accomplishment. And I've played a ton of games of Infection where that's just, like, it's easy. I'm, like, up super high, and I just one-tap people with the commando and stuff. And it's just like, eh, yeah, I didn't really do anything. And, like, getting kill sprees and, you know, um, like... And multi-kill medals isn't as fun, I feel like, in this infection. So as for what I would change, I think that I would adjust, again, the power-ups and stuff on the map. I would probably, honestly, get rid of the Beta Zombies Quantum Translocator. I don't think that it's that big of a deal. I would maybe replace it with something else or make them more fast than the Alpha Zombies and kind of bring the Alpha Zombie speed down since they have camo. And have them be this like super stealthy predator that's not as fast and overwhelming as the beta zombies. I hope that they keep adding stuff to the uh, the game mode to the you know like which maps and stuff you can play on. I think that that'll be important. And I know inevitably somebody in the comments is gonna be like, "We waited this many years for infection of violent comments." Blah 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 blah. Non blah blah blah. So. I get it, I understand, but Infection is here now. This is my feedback for the game mode. It's not like a super hard critique of it or, you know, a critique of it not being in the game at launch and, w launch and whatnot because we've already talked about that on this channel. <laughs> and quite frankly, the horse is literally dead. But let me know in the comments down below how you all feel about Infection. What is some feedback that you would give back? If you've made it this far, I want you to write down in the comments, I'm infected just so I know how many of you actually made it to the end of the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!